Uh, I mean, I just really kind of took the fight. Uh, I mean, I hadn't been offered anything. I fought last summer and uh, I won, but it was a disappointing win. And uh, so, like, I, I've been training, just working a lot, and, uh, you know, kind of like, well, I don't got nothing coming up. So, got into the habit of not even going to the gym. So, with uh, that habit being there, I uh, actually went six months without even training. And at 41 years old, you get fat quick. And uh, so, like, I, I got kind of. Shannon did kind of give me the heads up for the fight, and then I finalized it with Sean Wheelock, and uh, um, it was just a little over a month. And I mean, I didn't get to train the way I'd like to. Uh, and Shannon being a heavyweight, I don't know what he's been doing, but because uh, I mean, that's everybody's like asked why this fight never happened, but he was always like 170. So now he weighed, I think, 225 for this one. So uh, um, I, you know, I, I know how Shannon fights. I know that uh, if we get past. The first round, he's probably got no chance at all. But uh, I've seen him fight. He's explosive. I mean, I think he's underestimated. It's because he always won quick or lost quick. And uh, um, he can catch in stuff. I've seen him beat some good guys. And uh, it's kind of the same thing with me as, uh, you know, I have so many fights because in Iowa, there, there are always so many fights. And uh, it wasn't hard to fight. And so they'd put me on a show. And then that guy fell out, that guy fell out, that guy fell out. And they usually pull some fat guy out of the crowd. And so, you know, when you have... Uh, you know, 250 wins, but, you know, 150 of them are tomato cans. It's kind of, you know, the good guys kind of get, they disappear in there. So, you know, and then the other thing with Shannon is uh, he's had a lot of fights, but he's fought a lot of good guys. Yeah. And uh, so it's just uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, just, it's just another day for me. But I, I feel, uh, normally I can say experience takes over, but <laughs> we both had so many fights. Uh, the only thing I, I think is just try and avoid getting caught in something and uh, uh, even not train. I still got, I have endurance, so uh, I know how to relax. Shannon's explosive and just got to weather that storm. Uh, I, I guess for lack of a better word, because you guys have so much experience, you know, like you said, because you guys have seen and done it all, does it still kind of get your juices flowing? You know, do you still get the nerves? Do you still get... Uh, you know all those things is it or is it just just business as usual <laughs> you clock in you fight you clock out go home and you just no. go back to normal yeah I have no nerves anymore I don't care I mean do I look nervous I was supposed to fight here tonight <laughs> do an interview in your room yeah. you guys are wearing no clothes <laughs> we, we don't talk about that but uh yeah, man. So, I, I, what what are your specific predictions? They said obviously you don't want to get hit because it, you know he's the cannon for a reason. He's going to come in throwing hard. What's your what's your game plan for it? Are you going to kind of stretch it out? Uh, I'm, I I expect him to come out explosive. I've I've seen him fight enough times. I don't, and I've told this to people too. Like uh, I'll have friends of mine like, hey, I watched this guy you're fighting. I watched he does this and this. I'm like, I don't watch that shit. And the reason why is guys change per fight. You know, really? <laughs> Guys change per fight, and uh, you, I mean, I feel like if you just, if you watch the tape and you're like, okay, I'm going to wait till he does that, you're just going to fuck everything up. You just go with the flow, and uh, the only thing I expect out of him is just to come in uh, explosive and just to uh, weather the storm. And uh, to be honest, I'd rather keep it standing. I, uh, I know he's done a lot of ground recently, and I've seen him catch some good guys on the ground, so I... Uh, I just, and you know, I've only been trained to stand up recently, so that's kind of where I'd like to stay. Do you consider this fight, uh, I think a lot of guys kind of have one, or if they're lucky, you know, several of those kind of, it sounds cliche, but like career-defining fights, do you kind of see this as one of those, you know, only because of the, uh, the, the, the accolades both you guys have and so on and so forth? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, of the top ten, I... Uh, I mean, I did this. I think I fought seven of them. So uh, seven of the other guys. There was uh, I haven't fought Shannon. I haven't fought uh, some Paul dude. I don't know who it was. But I mean, I fought everybody else. So uh, you know, it's. I mean, and the thing is, is Shannon was saying this might be his last fight. But uh, I know it's his hometown, and there's actually an event coming up in my hometown. And I kind of toyed with the idea. I was like, you know, depending on how this goes, how about you come to my hometown? And he said he might, but I, I don't know if he will. I think if no, <laughs> you guys know Shannon, if I, if I lose, the, the only bad part about this, I think I'll probably get like t-shirts and shit made saying he beat me. <laughs> well, that, I was actually gonna. Well, I was actually gonna ask a question about like if you know, however, however, which way it goes, would you entertain the idea of a rematch? But. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, 
if if I uh, I mean you know I I don't mind uh, I don't know, I'm to that that point now where uh, guys who who beat me before or that I beat before they don't want or they're trying to like uh, get me now when I'm in my later years and uh, you know guys that uh, I've beaten before I've had like tougher fights with them again later on and so it's uh, I mean we're both I mean he's almost fifty so I rarely get to fight anybody older than me anymore either so. I don't know how many more days either of us have left in MMA, at least. Uh, we're just a few hours away from uh, from bell time. Any 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 last words for Shana? No. <laughs> I mean, we've both seen it all. And, and you know, the thing is, is uh, we're those old school guys. I don't like what the UFC is doing to these guys, where they're having them create these rivalries, like turning the WWE, yeah. and have them, like, you know, I mean, I get it. They build it up. You know, Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather traveled around together, and they built a good show. Yeah. But uh, I mean, we are old school guys. I've I've known him for twenty years, twenty one years, and uh, we've been friends all that time. So uh, punch him in the face, don't bother me. I'll punch my friend in the face. <laughs> you know, he's gonna punch me too. So, but as soon as it's over, I mean, it, you know, just another day.